hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this uh, tutorial we are going to work on results and validation in the previous uh, uh, model that is general bearing model so let's uh, go to model directly by clicking double click on model then in the previous uh, uh, tutorials we have already seen how to apply materials on each geometry and how to create coordinate system and connection how to modify all these connection then meshing and in the last one we have seen how to apply load and supports so first we are going to solve it yeah now it is completed so in solution we will insert first that is deformation total for uh, all body next is stress equivalent one one which is stress okay then what we have to do we have to right click here evaluate all results so you can see total deformation and equivalent stress we have to select both and right click rename based on definition so we are going to deformation here we can play animation so maximum deformation is 0 0.21202 mm and minimum zero it's showing okay we are going to stop it from here that results max minimum so that maximum deformation will be here and also what we can do we can go to age so undeformed wireframe and also we can do so undeformed model so here we can see undeformed and this is deformed so in display it's showing uh, large one because we have in this it is showing auto scale of 74 if we see in true scale we won't be able to get identified formation so it's like that okay and if we go to one misses stress so maximum is 208 mega pascal and that is happening on soft yes okay so using this we can make uh, we can change uh, these orientations also So for this uh, stress, we can play. Now, if we want uh, stress and uh, deformation on each like separate, separate parts, then what we can do, go to this, select body housing press control this one insert deformation total and also insert stress equivalent one which is okay that's for housing and then 
we have to select bearing also right click insert stress and then soft we are going to insert deformation total and insert stress equivalent one misses and then we have to select so we have taken so for this we are not getting which one we have selected so what we will do we will select all these then rename based on definition no we have to apply you have to select this body this and time yes now evaluate all results so this is showing for housing maximum it's showing 52 and in case of bearing it's showing 186 total deformation on this soft max is 0 0.21 stress is 2 08 we also want to get uh, uh, mesh alignment at the soft end so that uh, we can get uh, from the like uh, formula that is square root of uh, uh, ux square plus uz square so we are going to insert customized uh, custom user defined results so here we are going to insert formula ux square plus uz square square root Okay. Same for this. Uh, first, we have to select this face. Apply. Same. We are going to apply this on. face we are going to change this apply evaluate all results so max minimum value we can get here okay now we are going to work sheet we want the results only so i want to export this file right click export text file okay excel also we can get save all these results we have taken based on the like uh, uh, in this case housing material it is stainless steel so we in the next one we are going to change this stainless steel to uh, unfilled polycarbonate so we 
we are going to compare uh, results for both cases. So now we will see the reaction force at both end. So shift, select both and drop to solution. And then so evaluate all results. So you will get the force reaction in x, y, z direction. And also for this. So we want to like uh, this uh, surface is very like this thickness is very small. So we want to check stress at this portion. So what we will do, we are going to create a section plane here. See this uh, like we can see this uh, thickness is very small. So we our focus area will be here now to check stress and other things. So what we will do first we will remove section plane. And we are going to select these surfaces. Insert equivalent one moisture stress. These four four faces we have taken. We are going to solve it. So here it's showing maximum thirty one and minimum is zero point four five. Also, we can use this probe like So here we want to refine these uh, results. So what we are going to do, we are going to insert convergence here and uh, maximum allowable change is 2%, okay. And then go to solution. So here this uh, maximum refinement loops, we are going to set uh, three, okay. So uh, right now you can see it's showing 31 something, uh, 31 megapascal. So, uh, okay, so you can see here. Earlier it was showing some 31.26 so after convergence, uh, three loops. It's uh, 33.301 okay maximum okay this was all about convergence so next what we will do so next what we will do we will close this one okay then duplicate it because you want to change the material for mm, 
material for housing okay update project so we are going to double click on model now here what we will do first go to geometry housing you change material it to unfilled polycarbonate okay then solve Okay, now we can see after using this polycarbonate, unfilled polycarbonate material for housing, deformation has been increased and equivalence bone versus stress also for total just doing this much for housing it has been yeah for housing it has been decreased. But total deformation is increasing here and also stress. Then if we go to for bearing, it is reducing. Deformation for soft, it is increasing. Soft here also this stress is increasing for soft. And this uh, mesh alignment also increasing. So, like in this case, this is positive. So, we are going to add this both. So, total mesh alignment will be this much. If uh, one of them is negative, then it will be difference of those two. So this um, after changing material it is not fulfilling our purpose like that is deformation on this soft so we are going for the stainless steel. Okay this was all about results and validation. Thank you.